I know this celery is healthy food now, but what about next year? It might have been gene edited. And why? Because GM plant breeders think this is a good idea. The federal government is currently attempting to deregulate a range of new genetic engineering techniques that industries referring to as gene editing. This is really an attempt by the GM crop industry to get around regulation. They know that there's widespread consumer rejection to GMOs and they know that if the government deregulates these techniques then they can sneak them into our environment and into our food without any safety assessment or labelling. I believe that any molecular biologist who is clearly true to their science, their field, there is no way that they would suggest that the new gene editing tools are not a genetic modification procedure. The problem with all the gene editing tools, regardless of which one you're using, is that in addition to bringing about the, the intended change, what all are prone to are what we call off-target effects. So in other words, they can introduce genetic alterations, mutations, that could inadvertently result in novel allergens or toxins being produced. It would be highly unfortunate, I think, if there was a decision made now that there was no risk associated with these things, therefore there was no regulation and no labelling, and later to find out that there might actually be a problem. We're only now starting to look at the potential health effects, and yet they're coming to a supermarket shelf near you very soon. The Austrian and Norwegian government both did comprehensive assessments of these techniques and the risks that they posed and both of these reviews concluded that these new GM techniques pose the same risks as older GM techniques and they need to be regulated in the same way. Have toxicologists looked at this? No. Have cancer specialists decided if gene editing is a good idea? No. Does the food industry know this is going on? No, they don't. And if the GM industry get their way, there will be no pre-market testing, there will be no labelling and no way for anyone to know what is going on with our food and if it's having any effect on our health. That's no way to bring new foods to market. We have a right to know what we are eating. That's all we want. We want to know what we're eating and we want to know that it's been independently tested to be safe.